So I'm probably gonna get some insults for this build, but here's the shed for the most part finished. Still needs gutter, door painted, and flashing on the bottom. But generally it's all done. Siding's up, pretty well sealed off. It's not gonna be temperature treated, it's just for storage of tools and stuff. So, originally it was gonna have some solar panels put up on the roof, so that's why the roof is designed at a slant like this. Now, the problems arise when I was building it out of just scrap. It was made using, you can see here, two by fours, eight foot long as a whole frame, which would have been fine. But then to make it go all the way up to the one-sided roof instead of a traditional build, you can see there, it has another section added on. That section that's added on makes it so right there in the middle then is a weak spot going the whole way across to where that wall can flex. Now that's for the most part been solved by putting the roof supports on and having the whole thing finished constructed now to where it's pretty rigid and can still sway in the wind a little bit. But some things that I have learned and mistakes have been made, some things for anybody that's going to be doing their own project building in the future, things to look out for. Corners are a big problem. So where it doesn't seem to be that big of an issue, just using dimensional lumber and keeping everything basic it was originally designed to be an eight foot by 12 foot shed, but using eight foot by 12 foot lumber means being four inches wide, it's gonna be eight foot, four inches by 12 foot, four inches on your corners there. So when I put my sheeting on being four by eight sheets as well, they came out to your edge to where they're either not going to match here or they're not going to match on the end down there. So it took a little bit of fabricating to get it just right by cutting extra sheets so that they would fit and making joints that are weird. And then the roof is going to overhang a little bit there. Your little weather strip wavy thingies, whatever they were called, came up a little bit short on the end. And then to make this corner match up, I had to put a piece of aluminum L channel to get that to run the water off the roof edge to where it flips up onto that, runs off, drips off that drip edge there. So it's just these minor things that came about. So my best advice for anybody is if you're gonna be building your own shed like this, make sure that you plan out your corners before you start the construction. And even the lumber, just make sure you add that extra width to it because it doesn't seem like a big deal until you're about done and then you have less materials than you have area. So that was the shed build. So things I've learned, things we're still working on getting done to make that work.